What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to talk about the two special parameters in Python functions slash and asterisk and what they're used for. So let us get right into it. All right, so some of you guys might have encountered these special parameters before. The way they look is you have a function and this function takes some parameters, p1, p2, p3, p4, p5, p6, and so on. And at some point in the function signature, you might have a slash as an individual parameter, or you might have an asterisk as an individual parameter, or if you're lucky, you might find a slash and an asterisk in the same function signature as individual parameters. And the function of these two parameters is that they define how the individual parameters have to be passed to the function. So if we have a function like this without any special parameters, what you can basically do in Python is, let's say our function just prints p1, p2, p3. Let's just keep it at three. Let's not do too much here. Um, what we can do now in Python is we can pass three values like this. So positional arguments, so to say, or what we can also do is we can say explicitly p1 equals 10, p2 equals 20, p3 equals 30. This also works has the same effect. Or what we can also do is we can say the first one is positional and the other two I want to pass as keyword arguments. What I cannot do is I cannot start with a keyword argument. So I cannot do something like p1 equals 10, and then just pass 20 and 30. This does not work in Python, it's not allowed. Um, now what we can do with a slash, for example, is we can define that everything that comes before slash has to be a positional argument. So if I add a slash here after p2, as an individual parameter, what this basically means is that p1 and p2 have to be passed as positional arguments, p3 can be passed as a positional argument as well. It can also be passed as a keyword argument, but p1 and p2 must be passed as positional arguments. And you can already see this does not work anymore because I added the slash. If I run this, you can see it says got some positional only arguments passed as keyword arguments p1 and p2 not allowed. Also, if I just do p2, it says p2. However, what I can do is I can still do this. And I can still do p3 as a uh, keyword argument. So I can see I uh, still say p3 equals 30. That's the function of slash. Now, why do you need that? What's the benefit of that? Uh, one benefit is that you can fully model the behavior of C functions, because in C, you don't have pos uh, you don't have keyword arguments, you only have positional arguments. Also, sometimes you might have meaningless keyword names. So maybe I have some function where some parameter name is, I don't know, my param or something, it doesn't really say anything about uh, what it does. So in this case, it might make sense to only allow for a positional argument because the name doesn't really say much, or you might have some temporary name. So maybe you want to say temporary parameter name, because you don't know what you want to call this parameter in the future. So you don't want to have any code that explicitly states this parameter name, because it's not going to be compatible anymore. So you can force this parameter name to be passed or this parameter to be passed positionally, so that the name can be changed without affecting any code that has been written uh, based on that function. So that is what slash does, it says all the parameters that come before have to be positional. Now the asterisk does the opposite and also in the opposite direction, the asterisk says everything that comes after me. So in this case, if I put it here, everything that comes after the asterisk has to be passed as a keyword argument. So you can see this already doesn't work anymore. If I run this, you can see it takes two positional arguments, but three were given you only take two positional arguments, because this is a keyword argument, it is not allowed to just pass it as a positional argument. Um, whereas this works. So if I remove this, this works, and I can also do whatever I want with p1 and p2, I can pass them as positional arguments as well, it doesn't really matter. But p3 has to be passed as a keyword argument, that is what the asterisk does. And now, of course, what we can do is we can combine the two. So I can say p3 has to be passed as a keyword argument. And p1 has to be passed as a positional argument. And for p2, we don't really care p2 can be both. So this doesn't work because p1 has to be positional. So I can say 10. This works now because 10 uh, because p1 is passed as a positional argument, p3 is passed as a keyword argument and p2 also as a keyword argument. However, this here 
would also be fine because P2 doesn't have any constraints. But I cannot pass P1 as a keyword argument. This is not allowed. And I cannot pass P3 as a positional argument. This is also not allowed. So this is what these two special parameters do. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.